Good morning. Good morning, everyone. So we are... I say we, it's me. Hi. Not... No one else. It's quite lonely. Today, me and Ethan are going to head off to Snowdonia. We're very excited. Now, I am currently packing up the motorhome. There's like just a lot of stuff everywhere, like bedding and food and coats and so much stuff. I'm just trying to put it all away before we leave. So we're gonna we're gonna travel to Snowdonia. We're gonna we're gonna go to Lamboris. That's our first stop. There's a lot of mixed reviews about places to stop in Lamboris and stay. Now I don't know. I just want somewhere to stay for the night. So I'm gonna be respectful and I don't want to upset anyone. Currently, we're planning to climb Snowdon. That seems a bit concerning because the weather report shows snow and high risk and stuff and that would be really irresponsible for me to do that but I think we're gonna give it a go we're gonna see what it's like in the morning and what we'll probably do is we'll walk up and even if we only get 20% up at least we've gone for a walk <laughs> it's not quite climbing a mountain but at least we would have been on Snowden Ethan can say I've been on Snowden time to make the beds we converted the back of the motorhome changed the sofa into a double it's huge. So fast forward a few hours, just arrived at Tesco's to do a bit of shopping. Now we've got most of the things we need, I hope, but I think it's probably good that we get some extra stuff. Just, you know, just because we might need it. We don't know. But, you know, it's, we've got to have fun. We need to make sure we've got the right food. Hi everyone. Hi. We are now stuck in traffic. It's not great, a bit boring really. We've traveled about 15 minutes from our house, maybe 20 minutes, and now we're stuck in traffic. Four and a half, five hour journey, so it's gonna take nearly six. Hopefully we get there before it gets dark, but um, I'm not really sure. Oh, Ethan's got a high score in his game. Traffic's moving, let's go. Hi. We are now... Stuck in traffic again. <laughs> Yeah, we're stuck in traffic again. We're now trying to get around Birmingham and we've still got like three and a half hours to go, which means we're going to arrive at like 25 to quarter to eight. So it's going to be, it's going to be quite a long day, I think. But we've just started moving again. Ethan, we're moving. Ethan says, hmm, not very impressed. But yeah, so we're going to, we're going to keep going, obviously, because there's no point in giving up. We can't give up, can we, Ethan? And hopefully we get to the pub before it shuts. That's the most important thing, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, is Ethan. Yeah. Hi. Hi everyone. Hi. So we arrived in Lamberis at the pub. Yeah, the pub. But we arrived at 7:45. Got here. We made it. It was a bit of a long journey. The traffic was absolutely it was just abysmal. What have we done? We made a mess. Oh dear, I'm taking it off you. Yeah. Just put it we got to the pub at Ethan's bedtime, which I thought was quite controversial. We had a drink in the pub, went to the fish and chip shop. It's now quarter past eight, half past eight, and we're eating fish and chips. But it's okay, because we're on holiday. Yeah. I haven't got fish and chips, by the way. I've got pie and chips. Ethan's got, what have we got? Fish and, fish and sausage. There's no fish. <laughs> <laughs> You got sausage and chip, didn't you? They said they could do fish, but they, because they're about to shut, they um, didn't have any ready, so they were going to cook it. But I said, no, it's all right. Thought it'd be good to eat what they've already got available. Good morning, everyone. Morning. So we woke up this morning, a little cold. We put the eating on, and then we got warm again. We're now on round two of breakfast. Ethan is eating a, doesn't talk with his mouthful, pan of chocolate which I've heated up, and I'm currently, I don't want to say cooking, I mean, there's a chemical change going on, but it's, uh, it's so not cooking. I've got these uh, apple turnovers, which are nicely kind of heating, and well, they're, they're creating a lovely smell. Two apple turnovers, heating up in a pot on really low heat. I'm not gonna get this into some kind of cooking channel, <laughs> but you know, cooking's cooking, isn't it? Cooking is, cooking's cooking, if the food's nice, then it's good food. Is that right, Ethan? Yeah. yeah? Okay, so right, so apple turnover time, and then we're gonna have a little walk around outside and show you where we are. Ethan is a massive fan of um, pommes frites from France. These are okay. They're not, you know, they're okay. What do you think, Ethan? Thumbs up. Right, so let me show you where we are. We are outside this place, the Heights, or White Heights, I guess, or your Heights. Hmm. Well, Welsh isn't that good, as you could imagine, or as you can, uh, as you can hear. So we're outside this pub. There you go. Amazing place. We went there last night for a, I say a couple of drinks. So I had a drink and Ethan had a drink. He had a fruit shoot. I had a uh, beer and Moretti, which is very lovely. So uh, we're parked just here. Look, literally like, we're here. Barking here is, 
let me see, let me see, let me see. The parking here is 9am till 6pm uh, for 90 minutes. Obviously, overnight, fine. So there's no sign saying anything other than, you know, that. So we're good to park here for the night. Don't take the mic. So um, we're gonna head off. It's um, it's like half seven. Get out of everyone's way. And we're gonna go find somewhere to park. There's a car park around the corner that you can't park in overnight. So we're gonna park and then do something. So see you in a bit. Hi. Hi. Right, so we're in the car park. This is what we can see. Uh, this is what we can see. It's it's quite windy. Yeah, it's raining. very windy. <coughs> and water's just getting over and trying to get over onto the grass. So today we were going to try and climb Snowden. Um, the the website. Mountain. Yeah, the mountain. Yeah. So the website for Snowden says that we shouldn't do that. Being a responsible adult, am I grown up? Yeah, this thing, I'm apparently a sponsor adult, so I think I should probably be sensible. I think what we're going to try and do, we're not going to try and get... to the waterfall. Well, exactly, there's a waterfall here, uh, name below. Um, in fact, car park name below, go. <laughs> so if you want to come to this car park, there it is. I think we're going to try and walk up Snowden a tiny bit. Not far, just do like a half an hour walk up Snowden, and then we'll come back via the waterfall. So it'd be nice, it'd be nice to get some of the scenery in and see what's around, wouldn't it? Would be nice to see what's here. Yeah. Ethan is nodding, just a tiny, tiny. It's kind of nodding. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get our bags ready now. Get our boots on. Ethan's got new walking boots. <laughs> we're gonna get our walking boots on. Get our bags packed. Get ready and head off. I was hoping to get the drone up. I'm not sure it's a good idea to fly the drone in the wind. Yeah. You, it's absolutely not. Exactly. Yeah, so we'll not do that, but hopefully the wind changes. The weather is meant to get better towards the end of the morning, so even if we can get back here and put the drone up, that'd be cool, because this place is absolutely beautiful. All right, let's go. Yeah. Is there anything you want to say to everyone? No. no. So we are now walking. Check out Ethan. Ethan, say hi. Hi. He's got his gloves. He's got his waterproof. He's got his walking boots. Now he has got everything he needs. What's it like, Ethan? Too windy. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it is, it's a bit kind of, um, it's not very nice. That's okay, we're gonna go for a little walk. We're gonna probably go a little bit up Snowdon, like a tiny bit, and then we can go back via a waterfall that um, I've seen, so it looks, that is pretty cool. So you're not gonna get quite the experience that we thought we'd give you today, but that's okay. We'll have to come back in, won't we? Just passing the Snowden Mountain Railway. It's closed now because it's winter, and you know normal people don't like to go and go walking in the winter um, because it's cold and windy and rainy. He's happy, I think. Are you happy? Yeah, he's he's nodding. He's nodding. He's nodding. He's okay. So anyway, we, we've we've abandoned the Snowden ascent because I want a happy boy, and actually, it's a bit cold. The temperature is actually okay. It's more the wind, and I think as we go up. We're going to get a bit more exposed. A lot of the wind was coming off the lake. I don't know. I think I need to be sensible. So we're going to. We, we've got about five, five, ten minutes left until we get to the waterfall. Uh, have a look at that, and we'll go back to the motor home, and we'll uh, we'll find something to do. I think. So tell us below where you're from in the world. Write in the comments because it'd be cool to know. Have you ever been to Snowdonia? We've been here quite a few times. It's about a five-hour drive from our house. It's really good when it's not windy or rainy. Currently the travel beans are heading down to Spain and I was just thinking about how we chose to go to Snowdonia in the rain and the wind, cold, and they have gone south to Spain. I think maybe Spain would have been a better option. What do you think Ethan? So travel beans, tell us, is it warmer in Spain than it is in Snowdonia? Is it raining? Are you in coats and backpacks and waterproof things and stuff? Right, waterfall time. We're just about to pass underneath um, one of the bridges for Snowden Mountain Railway. Check that out. I wonder how old it is. Let me see if we can find out. Wow. Hmm. It doesn't say anything. 
just says how high it is. So information, 14 foot six, just so you know, if you're a really tall person and you're worried about bridges and stuff, as long as you're under 14 foot six, you should be okay. This gate, if you don't know, called a kissing gate. It is both sides, I think. I'm sure that's why it's called a kissing gate. Kiss. It's quite cool, because you can't, it's difficult to get in and out. There's only one person in there. All right, got Ethan, go through. Normally, parks consist of hopefully children and not too many adults. This one, this one's different. This one has, can you see them? This one has sheep. Should we go and interview a sheep? I think we should go and see what the weather's like in snow, don't you? Right, so the uh, sheep in question declined to comment. Right, let's go. So comment below, is it normal to have sheep in play parks? Um, where I'm from, it's not normal, but maybe, maybe I've just found something that I've not seen before. Tell us, is it normal? This waterfall runs really close to the Lamberis Path, which is one of the routes up to Snowden. So, so Ethan's gone from, oh, I want to go back to the motorhome, to this. It's <laughs> incredible. It's amazing. And super loud. But it's really loud, yeah, so that's why I'm shouting. So I don't know, we haven't quite got there yet, but there's even more up there. I can see it in the distance. So we're going to carry on. Oh, what is it? Look! Let's go and find it. Come on then, let's go. Yeah? Yeah. So I've Ethan these gloves. Show them the gloves. Now they're, they're good, but they've got us a bit of space to grow into. So now watch Ethan try and eat some chocolate. So this place is really cool. It's about a 15 minute walk from, from the mountain railway. Maybe 20 minute walk if you're going really slow or less if you're going fast, faster. So, but it's, um, it's cool. I mean, I can imagine there's less water, a little bit less in the summer. That makes sense, less, less water coming off the mountains. Even then it's still going to be a lot of water. I mean, it's quite fierce. I hope you like the drone shots. It's quite hard. There was, um, there's no satellite connectivity, so you can't go very high. That's okay. But also, it was quite hard with all the trees. I had to be really careful I didn't hear anything and then fall in the water. Not me, the drone. I mean, either one would be bad, so.
Right, so the rain's now stopped. It's warming up a bit, I think. We're not gonna go Snowden. Don't worry, Ethan. Okay, so we're gonna carry on up this hill. This is the, that's where the turn off is down to the waterfall. But there's a hill and I wonder what we can see from the top because we've got the, got the viaduct for the mountain railway going up. And we've got this hill, so I'm wondering if maybe the, the viaduct and the hill sort of, I don't wanna say collide, but meet. Maybe we can see some train tracks or something. There's no trains running today because it's winter. So the mountain railway has um, gears, both on the, well, gears are on the train, and it has a geared track. So the train is set effectively pulls itself up the geared track. So when the when there's, there's a steep area, which most of this track is very steep, you can still go without slipping. Very clever. So you may have seen our video which we did two years ago where me and Ethan went to Snowdonia. But last time we went in Ethan's tent, his little green tent. So if you haven't seen that video, well, we came to this area, it was two years ago, and it's become a little bit of a thing for us, a little boy's holiday. We failed to do it last year, but um, now we've got the moat home, we've got no excuse. Look at him, he's off. Yeah, there's a beautiful pizza and hummus restaurant which we've been to now twice. This will be our third time if it's open, hopefully. We're gonna see if we can find somewhere to stop there as well. I'm hoping tonight we can go to a campsite again, which we went to before with Ethan's tent. Tomorrow night will be a night in Betsy Coed. Anyway, we're gonna head back now into Lambaris. Ethan's having his crisps. Say hi, Ethan. Hi. You're not happy with the sun. Look, can you see that? I mean, shouldn't really point the camera at the sun. But it's not that bright. Yeah, the sun's coming out and Ethan's got his gloves off. It's warm, it's, it's not raining as much now. You can probably see all the droplets on the red lens. It's very, very hard to keep it dry. Check it out, this is where we are. It's now rainy again, but it's actually sunny. So there's the road home. There is the lake. Look at that, incredible. I wish they'd woken up here this morning, but you know, we can't stay here because it's no overnight overnight camping. So I didn't want to, you know, go against the rules because that's a bit unfair. But yeah, we're here, we're back in the road home. I'm gonna grab a drone battery and then we're gonna take the drone up. Okay, so we made a decision. We're gonna head off to Vertus Coed, I think. Mo time, running, ready to go.
we have just stopped. So we've just, uh, we're in uh, Better Sequoid, I think. Um, we're just around the back of the train station. There's a road, various bars and restaurants are. Um, it's really quiet. If it was in the summer, I wouldn't park here, but I think where it's so quiet, there's not gonna be anyone else, really. I don't think we're causing a nuisance. Another motorhome, look. Look at that. Why, right, Ethan. Say hi. Hi. So we're now gonna go for a little walk. I'm gonna see what we can find. Might have to go into the camping shops and see if we can find a coat or something fun. Hi. Hi. So Ethan has something in his shoe, sock, or damaged his foot. We have no idea. We can't find it. But every like few meters, he goes, "Ow!" I'm gonna just put him on my shoulders, which is fun. He's a bit heavy, but it's okay. He wants to go back to the motor but I said, "No, nope, we're gonna carry on, and we're gonna find some fun things." I wanna go try and get down to the water. So we're currently under the bridge. Better Sequoid, if that's how you say it. Come on, tell me. People tell me how to say it properly. It's nice out there. So we've got a proper contrast going on here. We've got this on one side, and then on this side, as you've already seen, that, which if you can see it, it's mental. So obviously once it gets past the bridge, it calms down a lot. In the summer, there's a fish and chip shop, which is just on the other side of the bridge. I'd recommend coming here, having fish and chips. Oh, really hit my head. Having fish and chips down here on the rocks with the water. The contrast is amazing and um, it's like anger and calm all in one uh, one space. Ethan, what do you think of it here? Come and tell everyone what you think of this place. It's pretty really good. I've got a cherry and coconut slice. So we're now gonna go back to the motor home, then we're gonna go chill out, and then soon after, go out for some food. We've just been out to the restaurant to have a look and check it's still there for the last time. So we're gonna have Ethan's favorite, which is hummus and bread. Hi everyone, a little bit of an unexpected twist to the event. So Ethan had a bit of a pain in his shoe, as you as you heard. Basically, we went out for food and we couldn't take our camera with us, so we couldn't take you with us, um, which is a bit sad, so we left you here. So, say hi Ethan. Hi. So it turned out Ethan's shoe was absolutely fine in the end, so we could have taken you with us, but we went out, which is lovely restaurant for pizza, hummus, and some drinks. And then Ethan said, let's go to the pub. I said, fine, okay, Ethan. So we went to the bar, we went to the Royal Oak in uh, Bed is Quad. And then we went to another bar, didn't we? To another hotel. And we had some more drinks, which is exciting. I so had exactly the we... same drink. <laughs> so <laughs> Ethan's had like 10 fruit shoots today. So anyway, it's uh, now like half seven, eight o'clock, and I think it's gonna be time for bed. So we're gonna go to bed now, aren't we? Yeah? So just turn the heating on. Um, Ethan's bed, as you can see, is all ready. He's got, a, just in case you didn't realize, he's got a double bed. The back of the motorhome is now converted into a double bed. Yeah. Look, look at this. <laughs> We're gonna say goodnight now, and then tomorrow morning we've got croissants, pan au chocolat, <laughs> and, um, well that's probably actually for breakfast. And then we've got French stick and pate um, for our lunch. In fact, we're parked like minutes, minutes walk. In fact, less than a minute's walk away from the railway museum. Which is... Right, anyway, let's say goodnight, Ethan. Come up here and say goodnight. Good night, 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 everyone. Right. Good night, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow. Say bye. 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 Bye.